first time we used to have this word in Jamaica, shreggy. And whenever you see someone that's not looking upright, you call him shreggy, you know? Yeah. So um, we really began to play, and we say, I, I record a song called Let's Do the Reggae. Yeah. So the word is coming from shreggy to reggae. Right. And I put it in music and say, Let's Do the Reggae. And that's the way it comes around. So it comes from you? Yeah, with the musician, I mean, uh, there's the words yeah. and the lyrics, but the music comes from the musicians. Mm -hmm. And so, but how did that pulse beat originate? Yeah. The whole the beat of reggae? The whole beat originates within yeah. the musicians and the singers. Yeah. And what are you, you know, what do you think of yourself, people like um, the soul music, the Americans like Aretha Franklin and um, uh, say James Brown and people like that. What yeah. do you think about them? I used to listen to um, a lot of them. Yeah. I would say Ray Charles is the one that influenced me in the singing business. Mm -hmm. I used to listen to the American gospel singers and Ray Charles first, then Little Richards, mm -hmm. Jackie Wilson, um, uh, Mayella Jackson, yeah. and a lot more gospel singers in those days. So then Rita Franklin, Otis Redding, come down, you know, <laughs> Lot of, I really enjoy it, you know. So I love all those music. And so what, um, you know, in those early days in Jamaica, were you sort of fairly strongly associated with people like Bob Marley and Peter Tosh? Yeah, you, we, you we were very to, close, yeah. yeah. We were close. So could you tell us a bit about those early days, anything about in those them? days, yeah. yes. In those days, we used to just sing every day, <laughs> night and day. Just keep on singing until we started to, to get a record and we get very small amount of money, but we I was satisfied to know that my song is going to be on the radio and it's going to be number one. And you know, these like today, I would be in Australia singing my professional song. You know, it's great. Mm -hmm. So why do you think you know, like people like Marley was he was very commercial. Why do you think you haven't been so commercial as him? Sing well. We are two different singers. Yeah. He sings about uh, a lot of things that he have within him. Mm -hmm. And I sing from the church. Mm -hmm. I was grew up in the church. Yeah. And um, my spirit is coming from the church. Mm -hmm. And the rest of all right. Yeah. And uh, when I say rest of all right, I mean God, you know? Yeah. I call God rest of all right. Mm -hmm. And it is, it is his name also. If you don't want to say God, you could say Rastafari. Right? Well, I, I grew up that way, and um, I really proud of the way I grew up, and I proud of the way Bob Marley grew up, and we all is one brothers, you know, and missed him very much. He lost his life, and... What about people yeah. like Black Uhuru? Yeah, all of them. All yeah. Of them. And uh, also, I mean, a lot of the time that do you listen to many of the new bands? Because a lot of their music is obviously influenced by you. I listen to the new band. I listen to everybody. Mm -hmm. And whatever is not proper to me, I don't say. Yeah. Because 